Hi, I'm Andrew Taylor, and this is The Last Protector, which is the latest novel in my Marwood and Lovett series, set in Restoration England. The last protector of the title is Richard Cromwell. He was the son of Oliver Cromwell, and, and like all children of famous parents, he found he had a hard act to follow. He succeeded as Lord Protector, as the second and last Lord Protector of England, as King in all but name, in 1658, when his father died. He didn't want the job, he had it thrust on him. He lacked the support of the army, and increasingly he lacked the support of Parliament, and he lasted less than a year before he was forced ignominiously to resign. The following year, in 1660, the monarchy was restored in the person of Charles II. He was forced to flee abroad. He fled to escape his creditors, um, but the monarchy, was, the royalist government was very, very happy to see him out of the way because he would have been the natural focus for any dissent, any rebellion to coalesce around. Now the odd thing is, we don't really know where he went between 1660 and 1680. It's a 20-year period. This man who had been Lord Protector of England. But what would have happened if he sneaked back into England? This book is an attempt to answer that question.